Okay, today people, I'm going to actually show you how I would actually do this on a laptop. Now this is a project laptop of mine, so I'm missing a few parts on it. And just to show you, I pretty much had to disassemble quite a bit of it to get to this stage here, where I actually have to remove the board. So I've dis done a, quite a bit of the disassembly before actually recording, just to speed things up a little bit. As you can see, there's a lot of work involved in, in this particular. It's a DV9000. Uh, these things, this and the 6000s, uh, the GPUs overheat on them. Oh boy, they overheat quite a bit. So that's one thing to keep in mind is with a laptop, you know, don't leave it on your lap when you're using it. Put it on a hard surface, surface, sorry, and <coughs> get a laptop cooler. It just will last so, so much longer that way. Now, I haven't had this thing apart in probably a good month or two, so I'm sort of going by memory here. <coughs> so if I don't get the first try, um, I'm also not going to be reassembling it. So that would just take too long. There we go. Power connectors underneath. Now, to get to this point, it took me about 10 minutes. Maybe 5, sorry. There we go. <coughs> As you see with this particular one, the whole thing has to come apart to get at it. It is a royal pain. And again, typically you don't work metal on metal, but this I don't care about if it works, so this is just more for demonstration on how uh, these things get repaired. So again, so if it doesn't work, I mean it's not working right now, so I, I don't really care if it gets buggered up more. So right now we're going to take off the heat sink. I'm trying to remember if I reapply thermal paste to this or not. And this, again, this is, the, this is the reason why I said that on the last video, <coughs> I don't recommend this for beginners because on some of these laptops it is a ton of work. And you will either forget screws or you won't, yeah, I've done this one, you won't reassemble it properly. Now with these things, especially these AMD based ones, they overheat like crazy. And I went way overboard with the thermal paste on this last time. So we're going to clean this up a wee bit here. Typically, you want this as clean as possible. If I was doing this for someone else or myself, I would, if I was going to, you know, be using it for more than just demonstration, I would go for a little more care and cleaning it up a bit more. I'm going to make it look neat, but I'm not going to spend half an hour on it. Get clean enough so you just get a basic idea. Ooh, I put way too much on. <laughs> See, this is the problem when you do put too much on. It is a pain in the butt to get it off afterwards. But again, for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing it. I'll take a couple minutes and see how much I can get off, though. Uh, if I remember correctly, this stuff isn't conductive anyway, so... But it does, just does look neater if you don't have it smeared all over the, the processor. Yeah, so again, uh, DV6000s, we see a lot of them at work. <coughs> Either the cooling system is just poorly designed, or it just, you know, the AMDs just run way hotter than the Intel chipsets, and they don't handle it too well. Then you get people leaving these on their beds, or on uh, carpet, or on their couches, with their cushions, so not a good mix. Alright, so. Take some Arctic Silver, 
And like last time. There we go. Again, I'm grouted. I have an anti-static mat underneath. Sorry, so you can see. Now again, this will spread out once I put the heat sink back on it and tighten up the screws. Actually, what I'll do, <coughs> like last time, is I'll tighten it down and then I will remove it. Just to show, because I know there's going to be people out there going, oh, no, no, you got to spread it around or you got to do a P-shape. Uh, for the smaller ones like this, you can get away with doing it this way. And, of course, now that I'm trying to do this, it doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. So just the downward pressure of the screws being tightened should be enough to spread it out. All the screws are down, so I'm now going to remove it just to show you and again this this isn't something you know don't do this if you go through that get to the point where you've done this don't undo it because then you're going to have to remove all that thermal paste and start again because otherwise you'll get air pockets underneath the thermal in the thermal paste and it won't cool as efficiently and you could have an overheating issue and as you can see there was none on the top of there it has definitely spread it around I might have had a touch too much again, but it's not that bad. And again, that was just one diagonal little pass. It de definitely spreads it around. I'll put this back on. And again, this isn't this thing's not going to get fired up any time in the near future. So when I actually get around to firing this thing up, I will more than likely redo this again. So I'm not overly concerned. To be honest with you, I don't even remember if this particular laptop works. I don't remember if it was just a cable or not. problem having big fingers. Sometimes it's hard to get into tight little spots with them. <coughs> I don't know why they design these things this way. Pain in the ass to put them back together. Push these little power cables here. And again, you should be fully grounded when you're doing work like this. So otherwise, you can really, really bugger something up with electrostatic shock. ESD, sorry. Same sort of idea though. And there's always something that likes to try to ruin your fun when you're putting it back together again. Always. Or almost always. Depending how your day's gone. Sometimes this is more fun than others. And of course, since I got the camera rolling, it decides to do this, so... There we go. Now, with these things, and that kind of, su kind of surprised me the first couple times I saw these as well, 
There are only sometimes holding one screw holding everything onto the board. Sometimes two, but it just depends on the model. And this is why you take your time and you don't rush it. If you rush it, you make a mistake, and then you have a non functioning laptop. And spare the, yeah, an extra 10 minutes. Uh, that's it. Good. going to be it for now. Take care, everyone, and have yourself a good day.